You're going to get started in just a second here. Just a reminder uh, from the email about the equipment for today, bands, uh, chair, a small weight, just one small weight, like one to five pounds, or even a soup can or a water bottle will be fine. And uh, last but not least, a washcloth. If you have one, if you don't, you can still do the workout just fine without it, but it'll make things a little more comfortable um, at a certain point. We're gonna get started with our warm first warm-up activity. We're gonna warm up in through the chest and the back. So we're actually gonna be on the mat doing some push-ups, easy push-ups. So on your knees, you can stick your butt in the air as you do them and down to the ground. And then you're gonna sink back into kind of like a child's pose to stretch out your back a little bit. So hold that for a few seconds and then come back down to the push-up. Good. And a couple of you were talking about feeling a little sore from the last workout, which is good. So you may feel some of those muscles sore as you're warming up here. Question for today, the warm up question is, what is the most expensive and or heaviest thing you've ever dropped? You can pick one or both. I'm gonna pick both. I think the most expensive thing I've dropped is my phone and had it crack. The heaviest thing I've ever dropped a while back, I was in the gym back when we did went to the gym and I dropped a 45 pound plate. It did land on my toe. So that was a fun day. I said lots of choice words, none of which were hot dog or heaven to Betsy, I can assure you. Ooh. Lorena, what about you? Anything the, that you've dropped heavy or expensive? Yes. What about you, Catherine? What have you dropped? All right, next warm up activity. We're going to go into a single leg deadlift. This is going to be for the back of your leg, your hamstring area. So you're going to be standing on one leg. The other leg is going to come behind you and you're aiming to get that torso kind of parallel to the ground. So we're going to do all on one side for now. A leg you're standing on stays virtually straight. You don't have to lock out the knee, but pretty straight there. Liz and Jill, what have either of you dropped that has been expensive or heavy. Oops. Oops. <laughs> Big oops. <laughs> Right. Bet your heart kind of stopped for a minute there. All right, switch legs, other leg behind you. Yeah, what about you? What have you dropped that's been either expensive or heavy? You know what? Now that you say that, actually, I have to change my answer because I was cleaning up from fit camp the other day and dropped my laptop on the floor. Everything's fine, but I just remembered that. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna do one more warm up activity. Um, we're gonna go into a bit of a curtsy squat. So you're doing your best curtsy impression here. So your one foot is gonna be going behind your other one and you're tapping. If you take your right foot behind, that right foot would be going to about seven or eight o'clock on the a clock dial. If you wanna think about that as far as positioning. Okay, Julie, what about you? What have you dropped? Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> right before disaster occurs. <laughs> All right, switch leg. Becky, what have you dropped? Both well, kind of a disaster, right? <laughs> I don't ever want that to happen. Uh, Beth and Patience, what about you? Have you dropped? Oh. Okay. I think some of us can relate to that. They're, they're squirmy little buggers, right? They, they get out of your arms sometimes. <laughs> All right. Keep going here. Christy, what have you dropped? Full is sad. Yeah, full is sad. <laughs> All right. Okay. We are warmed up. So, all this talk about dropping, and that's what we're doing today, but not actually dropping things. So, we are going to be doing drop sets. So, if we were in the gym doing drop sets, that would refer to, let's say, for instance, doing bicep curls. Uh, with as much weight as you can for eight to 10 reps. And then when you can't do any more, put down those weights and then you grab like a few pounds lighter and you keep going again with the same exercise until you've got that muscle fatigue. So we're gonna create, recreate that same kind of experience in your house today with bands. Um, most of the things we do will be with bands today. So we're gonna start, we have three blocks of work. First is legs. And we have three exercises that we're gonna do. The first one is a three count pulsing lunge. And like with all of our strength workouts, everything is going to be slower paced today. So the three count pulse lunge is gonna look like this. You're gonna head down. I wanna actually encourage you to go down, touch your knee to the ground, and then just come off the ground slightly. And that should be your lunge position. You can always start really low and then come up towards the end of the set if you need to but we're gonna one two three that's gonna be a one count a one rep so we'll do 10 on each side uh and the next is going to be a hamstring bridge with a hip abduction so i'm just going to show you that here and you'll have you challenge yourself to work really heavy here on this resistance and all of these are 10 reps but as i always say if we don't get to 10 that's okay if you've done six to eight and you've got that's all you can do that's fine so the hip bridge is going to look like this and then you're going to press your legs out against the resistance of that band before you lower your hips back down to the ground so that's the second exercise and the third one is going to be a donkey kick so you're going to be on all fours here band is around one ankle around the middle of another the other shoe and you're going to be kicking up to the ceiling now watch the angle of my knee it stays bent it looks like i'm trying to put the sole of my shoe on the ceiling so i'm not kicking straight out like this rather keeping that knee bent and going up towards the ceiling so we're going to start here no band with that pulsing lunge so I'm gonna count through, we're gonna do one round, just 10 of each exercise. In the second round, we're gonna do 10 and then do that drop set where we go through a lighter band and do another set. But I'll, I'll walk you through that when we get there. So first, everybody get in their lunging position. You wanna make sure that your feet are not one directly behind the other, but you've got actually some space between your feet and sink down. Tap that knee on the ground and then come up from that position. So we're gonna start counting and one, two, three, four, five. Make sure a lot of weight, six, is going through that front leg, seven. You wanna be holding 80% of your body weight, eight, on that front leg, nine, 
and 10. Okay, switch legs, sink that knee all the way to the ground and come up a little bit and pulsing one, two, three, four, chest up nice and tall, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay. So now I want you to take a heavy band, probably your heaviest or next to heaviest band here. And you're gonna take it right above your knees. So here again, I'll give you that count to 10 if you can get there going to be a nice slow tempoed count. You want just the corner of the heel of your sole of your shoe to be on top of that feet of the chair. Be ready and go up for one. Spread those knees apart, hold for a second and back down. Good. Two. Three. Also be paying attention. Four. So how tired you feel when you get to 10? Do you feel like you could do a few more? Choose a heavier band next time. If you're already at your heaviest band, six. Then what you'll do is add another band on top of the one you have on. So stick a two bands on your legs get more resistance. Three more. Eight. Nine. And hips all the way up to the last one. Ten. Oh, okay. So now we're gonna do that donkey kick. You can use the same band, or if you feel like you might need a lighter band, go for it. It'll have you take that and put it around your ankle. So, good. So let's do right leg first. So you're going to have the band around your left ankle and then flip the right side of the band around the right shoe. So it kind of travels through the middle of your shoe, through the arch, and the right foot's what you're going to kick up to start with, okay? Starting now. One. Good. Keep that knee bent. Two. You want to aim the sole of your shoe to the ceiling. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, oh, ten, okay, oh, all right. So the band goes around your right ankle and then around the middle of your left shoe next. So take that band, switch it so we can work on the left side. And the left is starting now. One. Two. Three. Four. Helps to tighten your core here, especially as you're kicking back. Five, that's gonna keep your back nice and straight. Six, it will help you prevent overarching your low back. Seven, if you just maintain that tension in your core. Eight. 
nine, and 10. Okay. All right. So we're going to do the same three exercises again. Same like you did last time. Heavier band. If you feel like you easily got to 10 last time. And then after each exercise, we will go into a drop set. So let's start back with the pulse and lunges. So get into your, separate your feet. You want to hip width or wider apart. And we're thinking that one knee down to the ground and then coming just up out of that position a little bit and pulsing. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, so this is where our drop set comes in. Keep that same leg in front of you. And what you're gonna do now is go into the same lunge, just get out of that lunge a little less deep into the lunge so you can still do as many as you can do. We're gonna start a timer here for 45 seconds and Go. So just as many as you can get in for the next 45 seconds. So this should feel pretty burning. It's okay. Of all of these, if that extra 45 seconds is a drop set, you don't get through the whole 45 seconds. The point is to reach fatigue again out of less resistance, less weight. So like we still have 20, like 15 seconds to go, but I am, I am at that fatigue point, but you keep going. If you've still got some, some left in your leg. Okay, and we are at back at the other leg. So other leg, it's gonna pulse, lunge. And this is all the way down. Take that back knee all the way down and then up off the ground a little bit, and we're doing that pulse. One, two, three, four. So when we go into the drop set on this side, five. You'll be working same leg in front, six. For 45 seconds, just maybe not in as deep. So however you can, Keep moving. Eight, nine, and 10. All right, so now same leg in front, keep lunging again. Give yourself a little less resistance. So that just means that back knee is not as close to the ground. So we're doing this for 45 seconds or less. You're stopping when you reach your fatigue point. But that muscle is just not going to go for you anymore. This is really effective, great way to work for strength, building up these muscles with drop sets. It's also a nice way if you close on time in the gym, ooh, you can throw in some drop sets to really work those muscles as much as they can handle. Ugh. 10 seconds left if you're still working. Okay. All right. And we're on to the hip bridges next. So remember what band you used last time with your feet up on the chair for these. You could easily get to 10. Take it up a notch, add a band. I'll go up in resistance. This is gonna be a 10 count followed by, so what you actually wanna do 
is have the next lightest band near you. So whatever band you have on now, pick the next lightest band to have next to you because that's what you will use for your dress set. So we're gonna head right now into our 10 count and up we go up and press those knees out from each other and hold for a second good one two three make sure to keep your core tight here really do that abdominal bracing i Seven. Eight. Nine. One more. And ten. Okay, so now switch bands to one lighter than what you have on right now. Still going to put that same position right above your knee. And now we're gonna go for 45 seconds. You're gonna do as many as you can until those muscles are saying no more. And go. So don't count during this part because everybody's gonna be different as far as how much you have left in the tank. But I will let you know how far we are on a 45 seconds here. There's about another 20 seconds left. So if you're doing any of these drop sets and you realize that it's like not that hard for you, you can work a little faster if you want to try to achieve that fatigue sensation in, in that 45 seconds. You want to get to the point where you really feel like you can't do anymore and time. Okay. All right. So now we're going to go into the donkey kick same format so pick the band you used last time or a heavier one if it was easy for you to get to 10 and we're going to go with that band around the ankles and we're going to start with the left or the, with the right leg first so put that band around the middle of your right shoe and we're gonna start in three, two, and kick up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and 10. Okay, we're gonna stick with this right leg and do a drop set. So pick the next lightest band to what you have on your legs right now. And we're gonna do band around the ankles again. I'm actually keeping, I'm not gonna keep both legs on, you keep just, one band to the side. So that lighter band is going on around your right shoe right now. And we're kicking up for 45 seconds or until you get that muscle fatigue starting now. Well, this is the last leg exercise for today. I bet you are happy. Ooh, I, know I am, I did this workout yesterday. Feeling it. Oh. All right, just a few more seconds. Oh. And you still got 10 seconds if you're going, still. I've reached my end. Okay. Let's switch back to that 
band for the first 10 set on the left side. So take the heavier band out around both the ankles and then looped around the middle of your left shoe. Okay, good. So now left side donkey kick. And we're going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10. Okay. All right, time for the drop set for the left leg. So pick up your lighter band, loop it around both your ankles and then the middle of your left shoe. Okay, we're gonna start with that left side for 45 seconds or however long you have left in you starting now. Remember to keep your core tight here to keep that low back safe and stabilized. Okay, about 10 seconds left. All right, and we are done with legs. So that, that was intense, right? I'm feeling it. I think I'm gonna feel it tomorrow too. We're gonna move on to arms next. So if you remember, I told you to bring a washcloth. If you don't have a, a washcloth, then it is completely okay. You're gonna be fine. It's not gonna hurt you to not have one, but it's just gonna make life a little more comfortable because what we're gonna do is some bicep curls and the band, when we do it in from the position we're gonna do it in, you're gonna have it in your hand like this. And it can really kind of cut in to your hand a little bit in here when you're pulling up and that gets to be uncomfortable after a while. So if you like, you can take your washcloth, fold it into a square and you're gonna give yourself some padding so that when you're pulling up into that arch area between your thumb and your forefinger, it's not gonna dig in as much because you've got the band in there. I think some of you will appreciate having that a little bit more comfortable, but let me show you the setup because this is not the same setup as bicep curls the other day that we did. What you're going to do is take the band and loop it underneath your kneecap there. So your knee is actually pinning that band to the ground and you're going to feed your hand right into the loop and you will have this washcloth there in your hand, but I'm kind of just showing you without the washcloth. So maybe you can see exactly how my hand is in the band there. And the bicep curls are gonna happen from this position. So you're gonna be in a kneel and you're gonna be pulling up like this. And you'll see that's a lot of strain on your hand without the washcloth. So that's gonna be exercise number one. Number two, and the washcloth, the only, that's the only exercise you need the washcloth for. The number two exercise is we're gonna do some horizontal abduction. So you're gonna have a band, your very lightest band. You're gonna be on all fours and you're gonna be taking that band out to the side. It's gonna help if you pin that under your knee as well in that same bicep curl position. All right, and then last is a negative push-up. Negative push-up, negative refers to the part of the push-up where you are lowering yourself to the ground. 
And what we're gonna do is have a three count on that. So it's gonna be one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, and then press up. So whether you're doing it on the mat, the chair, if you're at the wall, you still wanna be lowering yourself with that three count and then pushing back. So let's get started with bicep curls. So here again, you're going to give yourself some assistance against the pressure of that band. Let's take the band under your right kneecap. So back under the right knee, you're gonna thread your hand through, palm facing away from your body and then give yourself some assistance with cushioning there if you'd like. All right, so we're gonna go for 10. And one, two, try really squeezing your shoulder blades together with this. Three, that's really gonna help you isolate that bicep muscle. Four, five, Six, seven, eight. The arm goes all the way straight after each curl. Nine, and 10. Okay, so now switch it so that band is under your left knee. And you're gonna be pulling up with that left hand. So get that left hand looped into that band. Right forearm leaning on that right knee and we're pulling up and one, two, three, four, Five, try to have a nice flat back here so you're not arched over, just hanging there. Six, keeping your chest kind of up. Seven. Eight. Nine. And 10, okay. Now for this next one, I do want your lightest band or your next to lightest band. I'm using my lightest band here. Now, same thing where let's we'll trap that band under the right kneecap. It's gonna be on all fours. So you wanna be pulling out from the side of your body like this with your palm facing away from your body. So see how my thumb pointed towards the ground? That's the orientation of your arm the whole way. But of course you'll be holding on to the band. So you wanna grab that band with your thumb pointed towards the ground and then grab onto that band, make a fist, close your fingers around that band. And we're gonna head out to the side. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay. Now we're gonna go around the left, under the left kneecap. This exercise is also why I asked you to bring a small one to five pound weight because if you're using your lightest band, you can't go lighter on a drop set with your lightest band. So you'll be using a a small weight next time for this one for the drop set. All right, so next left side, take that left arm up. One, you wanna to try to keep your elbow locked out. Keep that arm as straight as you can. Two, with this one, three, four, five, six, Seven, 
eight, nine, and 10. Okay. All right, negative push-ups are next. So whether you're on a chair or the wall or the mat, let's do those push-ups with a slow lowering. So the push up part where you're pushing away from the wall or the floor can be as fast as you want, but it's the lowering part where we're really working on that three count. So we're starting here in three, two, and one. One, two, three, and one. One, two, three, and two. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and five. One, two, three, and six. One, two, three, and seven. One, two, three, and eight. One, two, three, and nine. One, two, three, and 10. Whew, special kind of push up there. Okay, so now we're gonna head into the kneeling bicep curls again. And 10 of the regulars and then drop sets. So pick the band you used for the bicep curls last time, heavier, if it was easy to get to 10. We're gonna start and then also have the next lightest band next to you so you can switch over to that when we get to the drop set. So start with that band underneath of your right knee. You're in that kneel position. Washcloth if you want it to protect that area between your thumb and forefinger. And we are going here in three, two, and one, two. Looking good, everybody. Three, see some beautiful biceps out there. Four, five, six, seven, really control the band on the way back to eight, nine, don't let it just snap back, but slowly control it back to the starting position and 10. Okay, so now we're still gonna do the right arm bicep curls, but we're switching it to the drop set. So get the next lightest band that you have near you there. Trap that one underneath of your right knee. And we're gonna go into 45 seconds of your bicep curls on that right side. And we're going. Go ahead and start. Just as many as you can get in in this 45 seconds before you feel that fatigue set in and you can't do any more in that bicep. If you're doing this right today, you're gonna to feel it tomorrow. I'll tell you that. This is definitely one of those workouts that I don't do all of our workouts like this because I don't wanna, you don't need to work to this level of fatigue every single time, but it is really helpful to build strength and throw this kind of routine in every once in a while. Oh, all right, just a few seconds left if you're still working. Okay. Oh, my bicep is shot. I don't know about yours. I'm glad we're done on the right side. Gonna switch to the left. Same show on the left side, picking up that heavier band for your set of 10. Trap that band under your left kneecap. And we are curling with the left arm and go. One. Two, three, four, 
Ten. Okay. All right. So drop set time. Pick up the band that is one band lighter than the one you just had on. And we're going to work into that 45 second drop set. So put that band under your left kneecap. And we're starting with those left sided bicep curls. And go. Remember, if you have a band that's wider than you think it should be during this 45 seconds, you can always work faster um, to get to that fatigue sensation in that arm. Some of you are like, what do you mean? I'm already there. <laughs> I feel you. This is a burner. Okay. Okay. And we are to the push ups. Okay. Let's go into one set of the negative push ups starting now. This is a 10 count. And one. One, two, three, and two. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and five. One, two, three, and six. One, two, three, and seven. One, two, three, and eight. One, Two, three, and nine. One, two, three, and ten. All right, so how are we making the resistance easier for our 45 second drop set? We're taking out the negative, and if necessary, like if you feel like you're really just tapped out, you can you can stick your butt up in the air like I have here, um, and to do push-ups like this. But whatever way you choose. Make it easier resistance for yourself, whether if that means stepping closer to the wall or the chair, if you're doing it on that. But we're gonna work for 45 seconds here and really try to reach that end fatigue point with a little bit less resistance. And we're going. Okay, 10 more seconds if you're still moving. Oh. All right, and time, arms are done. All right, rest of the time, you're gonna work through a couple core exercises. Okay, so we are gonna go first up into a legs up ankle band crunch. So, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna probably use my heaviest band for this. You wanna use a pretty heavy band. I'm gonna show you what this looks like. You'll have the band around your ankles. I lied about the legs being done. This is a little bit of a leg heavy one. You're gonna work in your core too. So your legs are gonna be up as straight as you can comfortably get them. Even if that means a little bent like this, that's okay. But as straight as you can get them, and as you can see, I am pulling apart on that band. So really, this is a 10 count. I know 10 crunches is not a struggle for probably anyone here. So the limiting factor is not doing these slow crunches. The limiting factor should be 
keeping the struggle to keep your feet apart from each other against the resistance of this band. So you want to choose a very heavy band so that by the time you're done with these slow 10 crunches, you really are struggling to keep your feet apart. That's the limiting factor for that one. The other one that we're going to do is sticking the band right below your knee and going into a plank. It can be a plank on the chair or a plank on the floor with a leg extension. So we'll be heading into this plank and taking one leg up at a time. Another option for this is take, taking it to like a knee plank and doing one leg up at a time like this. But this leg that goes behind you, you really want to lock that knee out and keep the leg straight. We'll do 10 on each side there. So let's get started. Pick your heavy band to go around your ankles for those legs up crunches. Here again, if the heaviest band is not heavy enough for you, you can always double up. Okay, so we've got that band around your ankles. Legs are up and I will count us through 10 here. One. Two, really pushing those feet apart from each other. Three. Four. Five. Six. Try to keep your gaze. Seven, straight ahead, or straight above you on the ceiling, rather. Eight, keep your neck nice and straight. Nine, should be feeling some hip burn. And 10, okay. Next. You want to take a lighter band than you just used, and you're going to go put that band right below your knees. Get into your plank position. Whatever plank you like, chair or mat, knees or no knees. And we're starting with the right leg, keeping it straight and lifting up for 10. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Two more. And one more on the other side. Left side up for ten. And one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, back to legs up. We are so close to the end here. Let's keep moving through these last couple of minutes. Heavy band around your ankles for those ten crunches. So on your back, legs up, feet apart as much as you can against the band. And stick those arms up, reaching to the ceiling for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and 10. Okay, drop set time. We've got 45 seconds for the next. We're going to do this again with the next lightest band around your ankles. Okay, so make that switch and legs up, go. We've got 45 seconds here. So with a drop set, start to feel a little bit of the abs kicking in too. It's not just the legs being the limiting factor anymore for this one. Okay. Keep it up if you're working to that fatigue point. 
Almost there. Okay, and we are switching now. Last exercise. 10 for the plank hip extensions plus a drop set. And we are gonna be done. So put that band just below your knees and get into plank position. And we're going here with the right leg out in three, two, one. 10 count for that right leg. Keep that leg nice and straight. Keep your core nice and tight. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Switch legs. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, one more drop set, final drop set of the day. Pick the next lightest band that you have. And we're doing that again. So flip that band right up your legs to right below your knee. And our 45 seconds is starting in three, two, and one. Take, take a leg, take it straight up. We'll do 45 seconds on each leg. You know what, this one is 30 seconds each leg. Forgot that I cut this one down. 45 is a bit excessive for this one. So we're gonna do 30. Three, two, one. Okay, now we're switching to the other side. Final 30 seconds of the workout. And go, plank and lift your other leg. You've come this far. Keep working. Keep that tension in your core. You're almost there. Keep it up. Just a few. More seconds. And three, two, and one. Oh, wow. All right, stay on the mat for our first stretch. You're gonna be on all fours. Good job, everyone. That was a tough workout. Okay, so you're, thread your left arm under your body to your right side, palm facing the ceiling. And left ear to the mat. So this should feel good having just come out of supporting yourself in that plank for a while, right? To pull and feel that pulling through your shoulder and your upper back a little bit, giving you a nice spinal twist there too. Good. Okay, other side. So right arm, thread it under their left, to your left side, palm facing the ceiling, right ear to the mat. And sink into the mat on that stretch. Feel that through your shoulder and your upper back. Okay. All right. Have a seat on the mat. Take your left ankle, bring it right above your right knee. This may be enough of a stretch for you. If it's not, go ahead and push that left knee away from you. And what you'll feel is some good hip stretch here. Next workout's Tuesday. We're gonna have a, a fun game workout. Uh, it's a version of bingo. You're gonna have to bring your dice again. It's gonna be a little mix of cardio and strength. Should be fun for everyone. Okay, switch legs, right ankle on top right above your left knee. Press that left, that right knee away from you if you need more of a stretch. And sometime early next week, you'll get an email and see some 
buzz about March opening up. So I'm going to be opening up sign up for March Fit Camp soon. So that's exciting. Okay. All right, we are done. Thank you everyone for joining today. Good workout. I'll see you Tuesday. Have a good weekend.